This is week six vocabulary. Uh, the first one is a lot. So you have both hands facing towards each other and then you move them outwards a lot. Or to show emphasis, you can move your hands farther apart a lot. Um, the next one is pretty or beautiful. You have the five, you have it in front of your face and you kind of twist and circle, make kind of a circle around. So this is beautiful. The next one, ugly. It's typically used one finger, you put it under your nose, move out, and then bring your finger into an X shape. Ugly. Um, or to show emphasis, you can use both hands. This is super ugly. The next one is to do an activity. Unlike the doo-doo we learned, this one is with C's and you're going to move them from side to side. So this is activity. The next one, during, you have both hands, they're K's. You're going to move down and then have them come up like they went down a roller coaster and then they're going back up again. So during. This one is used typically for times. So I can say during the break, what did you do? or during the summer this happened, stuff like that. The next one is family. You're going to have two hands, they're both Fs. You're going to start with them facing out, circle around so that they're facing inwards at the end. So this is family. Uh, and other signs similar to that are class, as I showed you. So that's class with Cs, or group is with Gs, league is with Ls. Um, but the main one is family, and you will also see me sign class a lot. The next one is fun. You have both hands, they're U-shaped. One is facing down, your non-dominant, and the, your dominant will touch your nose and then come down to touch the back of your non-dominant hand. So this is fun. The next one is the two of us, or we. We learned the word, uh, the sign for we before. You can do like this or with a one, we or us. Um, but for this one, it's specifically talking about two people. So if I had someone standing next to me, such as a friend or someone, I would have the K hand shape and then move it between the two of us. So this is the two of us, or this can also be used for larger groups like the three of us. You have a three and you would move in a circular motion indicating the three people or the four of us. And this goes up from two to five. Starting at six people, you typically just say our group instead of specifying how many people. Um, of course, you could use it, six of us, seven of us, eight of us, but that's not really used often or properly. The next one is vacation or break. So this is used for it could be, I'm going to Hawaii on vacation, or it could also be used as Thanksgiving break. So you have both hands, they're open fives. You're going to just touch your chest with your thumbs. This is break or vacation. The next one is can, as in, can you do this? Or yes, I can. You have both hands S's and you move it down. Can, yes, I can. We learned cannot before. It's with the one. You just tap the top, tip of your finger with the other with your dominant hand. So can't or cannot, and this is can. The next one is to be born. So you have one hand, uh, your non-dominant hand making a base, and then you have an S with your dominant hand. You're going to move under and then come out as you're showing that the baby is being born. So this is to be born uh, for birthday. There's many different ways of signing that, but um, the way I sign it is birth day. There's also where you touch your chin and then your chest birthday. Um, there's many different ways of signing that, but this is the sign of born or birth. The next one is from as in, I'm from here, I'm from Texas, I'm from California. So you're going to have one, your non-dominant hand, palm facing outwards, away from you, your dominant hand facing in towards you, 
the back of your fingers are going to touch to make a cross and then you're going to pull your dominant hand towards you and then bend it into an X hand shape. So this is from, from the side I have my non-dominant hand facing outwards, my dominant hand facing inwards, the backs of my fingers are touching as I pull forward, I make my dominant hand into an X hand shape. So this is from. The next one is grow up or raise. So you're going to have a bent B and you're going to go from the bottom to the top. And so you can use this in the context of, I was born and raised in California. So you can go from the bottom to the top. Um, the next one is live. It's with both hands. You have L hand shapes. You're going to go from your stomach area up to your chest so live as in where do you live um, or I live here I live there the next one beach the little hashtag sign next to the beach if you're looking at your list means that it's finger spelled so beach is just b-e-a-c-h the next one ocean we're going to sign water and then you're going to create a wave shape with your arms and hands so this is ocean. The next one, rollerblade. You're going to have open Bs and you're going to move your arms back and forth by your side. So that's rollerblade. The next one, ski. Both hands, they're Xs. I put one, my dominant hand, a little farther away from me than my dominant hand and you kind of just bounce them. So this is rollerblade. Or no, I'm sorry, my bad, this is ski. Um, the next one is visit. You have both hands, they're V's, and you're going to circle them in towards you. From the side, circling them in towards me. This is visit, as in if you're going to visit family or friends on vacation and other stuff like that. And the last word, try, both hands are T's, and you're going to, it's the same movement as during. So you're going to go down, and then come up, try.